to do it easy. That's what I'm doing. 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 But that's what lip stamp. Oh, yes, that's see? what it's for. Okay, for. okay. So tell me a little bit more about this series. <laughs> All right, so it's a drama, um, drama web series. It's based off my life, and Leisha is the director. I'm the producer and the writer. And Chance, she played me in the web series. Mm -hmm. It's pretty much. About Why did you play yourself? Why didn't I play? You know what? It's a very. If you watch it, it's very hard. It was very hard for me to even write. So for me to play myself in it, that would have just been too much. If it's about your life, why was it hard to write? It, it took a lot. Just because, you know, I'm not sure if you watched it or not. However, it had a lot to do with me being raped. It had a lot to do with me, you know, oh, being verbally. Oh, just one of those days, huh? Yeah. I, just, <laughs> I know. The other girl just said she, she told us our stories. <laughs> My heart can't take it's, too much of this. Yeah. So, you know what? Honestly, I didn't even want to write it. Alicia, actually, she was like, you know what? You need to tell your story. Because at first, I was just going to therapy. But therapy wasn't really working. It was just like, you know, we sit in the room and the person asking me question after question. I'm just like, okay, whatever. So, you know, she was like, if you tell your story, you love entertainment, make something out of it, make a movie out of it, talk about it. So I was like, you know what, let's let's try to do it. And I tried, and I also had to bring another writer in just because it was so hard for me just to put everything on paper and just to bring my story to life. Okay, so now, uh, <clears throat> how long did it take you to write the, uh, I guess, the pilot episode? <sighs> I would say maybe a month. Mm. Yeah, it took me like a good month. Did you take anything out? I did. I took a lot out. Why? You know, because there was other people that was involved, and I didn't want to expose too much to the world. So I was mostly thinking about other people before, you know, I, I didn't want to expose too much. But we we'll about to expose a little bit today. Oh, okay? damn it. I, no. need to, uh, <laughs> I need to dig. I need to dig. It's to sit down with your main man. And easy. Um, it says here you're, uh, you're a Kappa. I'm not like, oh, Alpha Kappa, Alpha, Alpha, Alpha Woman. Me, uh, yes, I'm about to say Alpha Kappa. I, I know nothing about <laughs> Alpha these, Kappa, these Alpha Sorority and Incorporated. <laughs> that way. Okay. <laughs> no doubt. Now, okay, talk to me about, I guess, the rape. How, how, how old were you when it happened? And what mind frame were you in after? I was um, 16 when it happened. And the mind frame that I had, you know what? It's so, it's so hard to explain due to the fact of when I was raped, I felt like, you know, my mom was, would be, have my back. However, it's so crazy that when I told my mom, she was like, she went insane. Who, who was the her, perpetrator? Her boyfriend. Jesus Christ. But now that's her husband. Still? Still. Hi. Still. Yeah. still yeah. Yes. Yeah. So it's so crazy to explain. That's why when every, everyone always asks me what the whole rape thing is like, I'm still living it because he's still around. So what's your relationship with your mom now? You know, I try to, in my mind, I'm, I try to like push things to the side and you know what, it is what it is. She's never going to leave him. So therefore I try to always have a relationship with my mother because that's the only one I still have. Because you know, I saw my father get shot. So, Where yeah. Where you from? I'm from Queens. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so once my father died, it was just me and my mom. And that's all I knew. You know, my every, you know my father's side, they kind of disowned me. And then my mom's side, it was just me and her. So I just try to continue to keep a relationship with me and her okay. the best way I can. <laughs> now, I'm going to ask this question. Yes. And don't take this the wrong way. And again, it's did, w even if so, it's no reason for any man to put his hands on you. Yeah. But were you the type of girl that was out here fast at 16? Absolutely not. I was always in like dance class, dancing. I was, you know, but I did. I'm not I'm not saying she should have been raped even if she Thank was, okay? <laughs> All right. I see, I can already see you in the comments. You just asked. No, I was always in the second dance class. I'm not going to say. Of course, I had my little tight outfits on and, you know, I thought I was cute. Have a little belly shirt. Looking like a joint, you okay? Know, see? I, yeah. I, I was cute. But, you know, like you said, there was no reason for no it. No reason. But he said he was sick. And he you still are, sir. Huh? You still are, sir. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so Chance, talk to me. How did you get this role? Why did they come get you? <laughs> um, well, um, I was actually originally casted for a different role, the smallest role in the in the series. And then at the table read, 
because I only had like one page to read. I was just like, hey, do you want me to read the narration? And I did. And by the end of the table read, they were like, come here, say, um, so we kind of. She was good. <laughs> she could read. She could read. I'm like, uh, yeah. I was like, how much does this? She, we, yeah. saw the, we saw her potential at the table read. Yeah. So we had to cut the other girl in. We was like, yeah. Damn. <laughs> It gets real. Um, <laughs> yeah, okay, yeah. Misha, talk to me. What is your role here? I'm the director. Now, how are you making sure this comes out the way it's supposed to? Making sure the scenes, like wherever she wrote, mm -hmm. we're making sure we portray it exactly so, like, every, so that the story is told the right way. Mm -hmm. Now, why are you trusting her with your story? Oh, this is my sis right here. I, I listen, I gotta find out. Gotta find out. <laughs> yeah, this is my sis right here. Like, you know, she was Real always, sisters. No, not no. See, see, no, see not that? real sisters. You see that? You see that? All right, whatever. Okay. She's this is she's like my BFF, you know what I mean? And she was always that heir that always listened and or I always ran to her and I was always telling her my story. And since she came in my life, she's always been there. So she saw my cries. Like even like, you know, I would be with my mom and then I would leave my mother and I'm like, yo, why she just won't pick me? You know what I mean? Like, I'm screaming. I'm like, why she just won't pick me? Like, I just, mm -hmm. I, still to this day, I just don't get it. But, I, I and mean, I would never get it. So. Um, I wasn't raped, but I had a situation like that when it was my mom and her her husband and, and the problem I was going through. And it was like, I can't even ask you to pick me and him. He sleeps with you every day. You're not going to pick me. That's crazy. That, 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 that's, your, that's your situation. And I, and I had to leave this house because I... There's a Haitian, I'm Haitian, there's a, there's a, um, a saying, two grown people don't live in a house. Mm. So it was time for me to go anyway, so, yeah. so I understand that, that dynamic with you not liking the mom's boyfriend. I totally understand that. What is your relationship with guys now moving forward? Ooh, that's what, that's where the love and side prevails come from because with my relationship, I was in a 13 year relationship and I don't even call bitches, I don't, but, and I thought That's that, light though. Nah. Bitches. That's good. right. Hit. <laughs> then got hit. It oh, was no, that's like, not like that. You know, it was a lot of verbal. It was a lot of emotional. Like, you know, you wasn't pretty enough. Oh, where this? Oh, where that? And blah, 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 blah. You know, but... Manipulation it, control. Yes, absolutely. And I thought that that was love because that's what I, I've seen growing up. You know what I mean? So yeah. it was like, now, now I'm in a better place because, you know, growing up and just being around strong women that I, that I'm around now it helped me realize like no you shouldn't allow a man to put their hands on you you shouldn't allow a man to call you a bitch you shouldn't allow certain things you know what I'm saying but it took my environment like they said you know what family's not always sticking in water so <laughs> I don't know family's my, not always blood how about that that, that is true how about that is that? true they're not and this is my family there you so go. I learned a lot from my environment to sit down and Shemaine Man and Shemaine Man M Easy with the cast of the ladies from Lips. Yes. Um, so what what made you decide you want to put your story out there like that? What was what was the encompassing reason that you want to put your story out and let people see your inside? It was therapeutic for me. So like like I told you before, I've tried therapy, the mm -hmm. one on one sit down, having conversation with someone, keep asking me the same question over and over, which became very annoying. So, you know, as talking to my peers and they telling me, you know what? Write your story. Like I'm, I'm, in, I've always been in entertainment, so that right there was always my outlet. So for me to put a story and make a film out of it, it was therapeutic. For okay, me. I haven't seen the show. That's terrible. I right, listen. I'm be, I be busy. So nah, right, trust nah, me, anyway, trust me. I, I'm, I'm it's going, on YouTube. We got I'm, our cell phones. I see you got an iPhone, so you, you can watch it. <laughs> uh, uh, my, my iPhone is at three percent. Just to let you know how busy I be. Um, That's crazy. But the reason I asked that it was. It, it did the did you shoot the rape on your show? Yes. How mm -hmm. how was it? When we gonna come to you? How was it reliving that again? You know what? The first time you I didn't, didn't watch, watch it. it. Mm -hmm. Have you watched it since? I did, and I still turn away. Does, does it does it remind you of that day? Yes, absolutely. I would say this is it was extremely hard with those scenes. It was extremely hard because make sure you plug that scene in right. Here. Yes, <laughs> that scene it was extremely hard, you know, to relive that. And like, like I said, I didn't put a lot in it, but I'll, I'll put it out right now. You know, I got pregnant from the situation, and I didn't know if it was my boyfriend's or his. So, you know, I, obviously I had an abortion, but it was, 
Jesus Christ. It was like just relief, reliving it. And yeah. So. Now, Chance, how, how, was, how was it for you reenacting that? Like, how did you feel? It was... I mean, even just watching it, even though I know, like, okay, that's me. I filmed this, and it's just acting. It's... I can't imagine how she even went through something like that. And then with Michelle being in the room when we're filming, it actually helps me to get in tune with the character because I'm like, I'm just acting, but this is someone who's actually been through this. And so it's like, I... It, it, yeah. It's... I don't know. It's very difficult to talk about. All and this. director, how was you, how how did you feel directing the shot? Like, how did you know what it went like? It was tough because I know she couldn't be in the room when we felt filmed it, so I couldn't really ask her exactly. I didn't, you know, it's tough to ask someone how. Like, I want to ask you exactly how it went down, but I feel like maybe I'm going too far. It was really tough shooting that scene just to know that she really went through this and then I know she's in the other room like going through it that was shooting the scene and she was keeping to herself because it was tough mm -hmm. hearing everything in the other room. Mm -hmm. It was mm -hmm. a hard scene to shoot. I can only imagine. She made me easy. This is the sit down. Um, I have her what, getting that clip. I need to see this because this right here. Uh, I need to know. I, I just need to know. Um, now it says here that you've worked with a lot of people. In what, in what um, aspect? Choreography and dance. Mm. As far as, yeah, so that you, was way back in the day. <laughs> says here that you, uh, you've worked with Tanache, Kid Fury, yeah. Wild Wildebeest. Yeah, oh. those are all choreographers, dancers, podcasters, yeah. You still got a number on Tanache, fam? Do I, you said do I have a number? You still got a number on Tanache? Yeah. Oh, I might need that content. I got you. <laughs> I got you. <laughs> Tinashe, I got what's you. what's up, baby? <laughs> Anyways, she made me am easy. Um, so after this, what else is on the horizon for, for, for Lips? Well, Season two, which airs Tuesday, January sixteenth at eight p.m. Mm -hmm. Yes. Um. Well, speaking of shooting my shot, you know, I do a little acting in my in my <laughs> active work. All right, do shot, you? So, you? Do you know. have the time? <laughs> right. I'll make the time. Damn it! <laughs> Shit. Oh, so you gonna make the time to watch season one? Absolutely. Right, Listen, she's I've go. already got her working on my phone. We go. We're going to watch season one to see if I can be a part of season three at least. Yes. Mm -hmm. um, Absolutely. So besides for season two, what, is you, what are you? What are you guys into? Um, individually? Oh. Um, a lot. Um, I also shoot videos for up and coming artists. Um, one mainstream artist. She was with G Unit. And her name is? Precious Paris. Okay. Um, besides that, besides the Let's, I'm working on some other projects too, some short films based off my life. And that's pretty much it right now. But Lips has been the main focus because it was really important. I wanted to make sure her story was told exactly the way it that she wrote it, and I didn't want to, you know, spend the time or anything else. I want to focus on her, make sure everything came out the way she wanted. Got you. Chance, what about you? Well, Lips is my first lead in a series, but um, I've led other, like, short films, Backpage, by Shatik, the producer, um, Money and Violence, The Ad. That's where I've seen you. I know I knew that face. <laughs> Money yeah. and Violence. And Go I ahead. played Melissa in Money and Violence, too. I played Archie's um, girlfriend. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, the ad, what else? Makeup and breakup, a couple of the web series and stuff. So, mm -hmm. and I'm also a producer as well. So you just out here working? Yeah, that's it. <laughs> Any last words you want the people to know, Miss Michelle? Um, no, just basically tune in for season two, January sixteenth, Tuesday, eight p.m. And that's pretty much it. Like I just wanted to tell my story, and I just appreciate everybody just tuning in, and you know, feedback is always great. Now, um, have you? Have you gotten in front of this and wanted to be an activist for other women that have gone through this at all? Or are you just someone that's the, you know what, I just want to deal with that. Let me just do my thing and that's it. You know what, actually, honest, I haven't thought about that until I spoke to the lady out there before. Mm -hmm. And you know what, honestly, I don't know how much I, because I'm still trying to figure it out myself. So I don't know, I don't know if I will be a big help. You know what I mean? Because it's still hard for me because I'm still going through it. Gotcha. So once I get myself, you know, together, Situated. then I can definitely reach out and help others. But for right now, gotta figure myself out. <laughs> <laughs> I know that's right. I know that's right. Now, ladies, thank y'all for coming. Um, uh, let them know your Instagrams and however you get in contact with you for work or whatever. Thank you. You can find us everywhere: Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Lips, all capitals. Because if you do not put caps, you may see some orgies <laughs> somewhere <laughs> else. It's another web series called Lips. <laughs> so make sure you put all caps Lips a web series. That's where you can find us everywhere. Thank you. <laughs> Lips. Yes. <laughs> Again, thank you guys for coming. Thank you I really for appreciate us. you. Uh, God bless and good thank luck you. in the future. Thank you. Thank you. Same to you. Sit down and your main man, M. Easy, and the ladies of Lips.